Alright, it's 2017, so it felt fitting to make a list of the top five games I'm most excited for this year. This is just my personal opinion based on what I think is going to be the best in no real particular order. Ukulele, if you haven't heard of it yet, is the spiritual successor of Banjo-Kazooie, made by most of the same crew of the original game in the Donkey Kong Country series. The trailers make the game look absolutely gorgeous. It's basically an HD Banjo-Kazooie. And from the demo recently put out, the controls seem tight, which is just about the most important part in a platformer like this. Plus, it has a Shovel Knight cameo to do the fact that both games are funded on Kickstarter. Speaking of, Shovel Knight, Spectre of Torment. After reaching stretch goals on Kickstarter, Yacht Club Games promised three new playable boss characters. The first of these was Plague Knight in Plague of Shadows, the next is Spectre Knight in Spectre of Torment, and the final will be King Knight, that decadent dandy. Spectre Knight was a crazy boss to fight with all the teleporting and sight throwing involved, and if they can capture that fast paced movement feeling when he's a playable character, I'll be impressed. Plague of Shadows was also heavily tied to the original story, so I'd like to see what they do here. All we know so far is that it's somehow tied to the locket from the first game. The next game is a bit of a total genre switch from the other two. It's a fighter rather than platformer. Marvel vs. Capcom 4... uh... Infinite. This game had me in as soon as the trailer showed the only X of mine I like, Mega Man. All these games have been good, and this game seems to have a bigger focus on the Infinity Stones, likely due to the build-up to Thanos in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, so I'd expect him to end up as the final boss of this game. All I want here is a bigger roster. I'll probably do a separate video on that soon. More unlockables would also make this game a solid entry, and I can only cross my fingers that the DLC isn't too heavy. Now, for a game with a story I haven't understood since the PlayStation 2, Kingdom Hearts. I haven't had a clue to what's happening here since Chain of Memories, but goodness, these games are fun. I'm more of a fan of running around the Disney worlds with a varied cast and the super over-the-top obnoxious powers. The biggest thing I want here is a world dedicated to Final Fantasy. And would it kill someone to bring in a character from 6? And no, you don't count, fake Setzer. Finally, the game I'm by far the most excited about for 2017 is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I just want to preface this by saying I'm not a huge Zelda fan. If anything, it's a series I play just out of habit. I don't see much potential in the series as a whole, it's just so generic, you know? Every game is practically the same. No, who am I kidding? This game looks beautiful. A huge open world, non-linear gameplay, a medieval tablet, shield surfing, fire updrafts, weapon tier, slow-mo beatdown, wolf link, armors, this whole plateau is great. I could talk for an hour about everything that makes this game look fantastic, and I guarantee that I will eventually, but for timekeeping purposes, I'm just gonna say, watch the trailers. All of them. Watch the treehouse footage. This game is going to be the biggest Zelda yet, and I have nothing but high hopes for it. And as long as they don't let me down... That's my list for 2017. If I missed any, feel free to let me know. Thanks for watching.